not long ago, somebody commented on one of my videos and said, Voltron, you need to get your own socks. And I thought, man, that's a great idea. So here they are. What do you think? And no, you can't have them, but you might be able to buy them. In this episode, we're going to cover the high torque motor for the ETM RTR by Electro and Company. Let's go. Opening up the back of the toy hauler here, guys, this is where I have to do all my unboxings. We're going to take a look at the high torque motor as it comes. And here is a label. It says use the Loctite and this is a reverse thread. Opening up the box, you will see that the motor is encased in foam and ENC always comes through with a badass sticker and a nice note. The motor comes encased in foam and here it is. It is beautiful looks like a little baby chick just hatched out of its shell let's go put this thing in the bike and see what kind of results we get all right y'all test one is going to be the stock etm rtr completely stock drivetrain after this pass we're gonna take it back to the garage and we're gonna put the upgraded high torque motor even into it let's slow, get out with you the can test. still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran so to no man i still go 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 Hustle loud, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Pull the system, I don't wanna be a slave. All right, all. So we got 54, almost 55 miles an hour on that speed test. One thing I want to make sure I'm clear about: the high torque motor is not going to give you a higher top speed. I mean, we'll find out when I put it in and we run it. But the claimed advantage to the high torque motor is that it's going to utilize the existing power from your battery and controller and use it more efficiently to give you a higher torque feeling and a higher torque rating. So it might not necessarily increase your top speed, but if you're going off road or you're hitting jumps and you need more wheelie power, maybe you're running a bigger wheel set and you need more torque, this high torque motor is what that's for. Let's get the bike back in the garage, let's put the new motor in and let's redo the test. As we go through the process of switching out this motor, I am going to show you exactly how easy it is. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you want to get your own Voltron ETM RTR, check out the website VoltronWatts.com. Doing the motor swap is as easy as changing the tire on your car. Look here, just loosen the chain, loosen your axle, pull the chain off. We're gonna drop the old motor. Before I drop the old motor though, I'm gonna come back up here up top and I'm going to uninstall the phase wires from the controller. And here I am loosening the screws with my drill. Do not put the screws back in with your drill. It's always good to use a screwdriver for that. Now that I got that undone, I'm gonna drop the motor, pull the cables. So I got both motors out of the bike. They look identical. They feel the same, but one is different than the other. Let's weigh them real quick. This is the stock motor. Let's throw this dude on here first. So this is super scientific. We got 10, we'll call it just 10 pounds on the stock motor. Taking the upgraded motor, this is the high torque motor. Let's put this sucker on here. 11 pounds, a little bit over 11 pounds, 11.2. So the high torque motor weighs an entire pound more than the stock motor. Good to know. All right, y'all, out with the old, in with the new. Putting the chain back on. Don't forget to put your chain back on before you put your motor back up. Here's what I did. I put the two bolts in the front. I swung the motor in from the back. I stuck the two bolts in the back, lined it up perfectly. Right here, phase wires, done, easy. Putting everything together here with a screwdriver, like I said earlier, nice and tight. All these plastic pieces in here can be taken out by hand. No tools required to access your controller. Putting the chain back on is as easy as it comes. You've all done this 100 times. I don't need to tell you how to do this. Tighten here, get your chain set, 17 and 19 millimeter. Bada bing, bada boom, off to the races. Let's go test this thing. All right, well, we're back at the track and we got the mod motor in. Let's get a couple rips on it. After this, I'm gonna take these street tires off and put the dirt tires on. That's where the torque is gonna come in handy. Let's go. All right guys, so our top speed remained the same at 54 miles an hour, but like I said earlier, the high torque motor is not going to increase the top speed of your bike. It is going to give you torque and acceleration. And the acceleration with the high torque motor 
is substantially better than the stock motor. What I want to do now is go put the 12 inch wheel on the back and the 14 inch dirt tire on the front and get this thing on some trails. That is where the torque really is going to matter on this bike. When you get a set of 12 or 14 inch supermoto tires from Electron Company, it's going to come with the brake and it's going to come with the sprocket. So in my case, when I had my dirt set up, I didn't have to move any of that stuff over. It was already set. All I had to do was pull my axles, break my chain, and put my dirt bike tires back in. I didn't have to swap anything. That was pretty rad. It took me like 15 minutes to do both. And while I have your attention real quick, real quick, listen up. When you are putting your RTR together for the very first time and you flip your caliper on the front wheel, make sure that you give yourself enough room at the front here. I didn't recognize this and that my wheel was rubbing on my brake line. So before you go riding, after you do your assembly, make sure you have some distance there between your brake and your brake line. So now that we got the dirt bike tires on guys, I have some access to these trails. They're in my neighborhood. I'm kind of fortunate in this way. These trails are pretty rad and the RTR shines on these trails. The suspension that I have on the front is just a stock fork like anybody else. And the rear is a DNM shock from Electron Company. It is the one inch shorter version. They're dubbing it the race version. It rides really, really nice. But with the shorter shock in the rear, the kickstand's a little bit too long and it doesn't really serve as a kickstand anymore. So I had to find trees and things like that to lean my bike up against. Here I had to make a decision, left or right. And I went left, I don't know why, I just did. This trail here rocks and I love this double vision of the camera here where you guys can see where I'm going. You can see kind of my, my angle and how I'm riding. And like I say here in a little bit, wear a helmet when you're doing this stuff. If you want to know more about the ETM RTR, I went to California and interviewed Austin, the founder of Electron Company. We went through the RTR from nuts to butt. Everything you want to know about this bike, everything you ever had a question about, it's in that video. Go check it out in the library. I don't know if you guys can see how big this hill is right here. Cameras never do hills or inclines justice. This is a pretty big hill. I want to see if the new motor is going to pull this hill without even getting a running start. Don't do like me. Wear a helmet. the wheelie on that hill the whole way up all right guys so what do i think about the high torque motor so far if you were riding street i would probably leave it alone there's not that big of a difference in the performance of the high torque motor in my opinion on the street you're going to get your torque off the line right but your top speed remains the same if you ride the dirt though this is where the high torque motor shines because you're on the throttle you're off the throttle you're accelerating you're going you're going up hills you know you're you're constantly on and off the throttle that is where your torque is going to be the most advantageous so if you're riding on this if you're riding on the street i will say leave it alone maybe you get the extreme kit when it comes out for the for the rtr but if you are riding in this kind of terrain off-road 100 100 on the high torque motor to be honest with you this bike is so fun in the dirt i think i'm gonna just keep this a dirt bike this bike is more fun on the dirt than it is on the street. ENC did this thing right with the dirt bike setup. I'm going to make this a dirt bike bike. No more street tires. This is dirt bike for me.